Welcome to Pan Eastern TV, your trusted source for balanced coverage of developments in Southeast Nigeria and beyond. Today, we are looking at an exciting project that is springing up in Anambra State because Charles Shukuma Sorudo says he wants to build Anambra State's own version of the Silicon Valley and he named it the Solution Innovation District. Where is this located? What is going on here? What is the plan? We are going to dissect all this today and ask very important questions also. So Soludo said that he's building this Solution Innovation District in Oka to be a cornerstone of his visionary plan to turn Anambra State into everything technology. Where is this district going to be situated? It's a district, which means it's not just one office building. It's going to constitute a number of buildings, very high-rise office spaces, which you are going to see in the 3D image that is showing on this video. But there is an iconic building that is already going up right now as we speak. As you are looking at it, it's no more a drawing work is ongoing and by next year this building edifice will be completed it is situated in the current uh, governor's lodge in anambra state in near to Agwaka. you know that place used to be a construction base for a construction company that worked on the enugu Anisha road that's not actually the government house so Ludo is building one near to the central bank in Oka at the moment but this place is going to be the base of the Solution Innovation District. Already the project is ongoing and what is contained there is that Soludo said that these projects have already trained about 20,000 Anambra youths in digital skills through what they call the Level Up Anambra Program 1. I haven't seen any of this person physically but I've seen videos of some of the people that underwent this training and some of them are already doing something for themselves. They have this code Anambra, which is a comprehensive software development program, which many have seen as a game changer where he's going to push out a lot of young Anambrarians equipped in technology. You know, they have to do things like uh, product design, front-end development, back-end development, full-stack development, mobile apps, name it, everything technology. Very exciting. And this is um, one area which is investment in human resources, not about building uh, roads, bridges, structures, but this one is really investing in the youth. They also have what I call the one youth, two scale solution as part of this solution innovation district. In fact, the one youth two scale solution is a, a project where somebody is trained to, even if you're a graduate of mathematics, for example, they make sure they train you to know how to make graphic designs or something else so that you could combine two skills and if one is not paying, you will use another one. And the idea, according to Soludo, is to create 1,000 youth millionaires annually and generate private sector jobs in Anambra State. Can you fathom that? Can you, is trying to tailor it towards the, so, uh, the successful Igbo apprenticeship model. So it's kind of modernizing it now. And he said already they have empowered 5,000 beneficiaries in 2023 by giving them a portion of the 2 billion Naira that he uh, marked to support those who completed this training. This is proper empowerment. It's not like, you know, in Nigeria, politicians have seen a governor uh, trying to empower youth by donating wheelbarrows to them, in actual fact, sending them to become laborers. But this one, I saw it myself, two billion kinds, some get like one million, two, five hundred thousand, three, depending on your own plan. So that is what is, um, happening in Anambra State. Let me talk about this iconic building. It's gonna be one of the legacy projects 
of Charles Shukuma Soludo, you know, in Nigeria, we always call or uh, um, talk about legacy projects of politicians. But I think Soludo might have a problem because there may be too many legacy projects. Now, the SID building or Solution Innovation Distributing building is an iconic edifice. You can see how it is designed. It has so many things. It's a state-of-the-art facilities inside this building. He says he is going to have enterprise data centers for technologies. They know what this is. Artificial intelligence labs, that's AI, where Anambra use will be playing around with AI, artificial intelligence, designing robots and things like that. It will be content in this building, mechatronic and robotic laboratories, virtual reality facilities, co-working spaces, creative halls and gaming rooms, auditoriums and conference rooms, libraries, and learning centers, gyms, and even places you can take a nap while walking. This is actually designed or modeled after Silicon Valley or modern tech offices around the globe. And when you look at the structure of the building, yeah, it's definitely going to contain all this. And this ongoing, the construction is ongoing right now. It will offer digital skills training. As I mentioned earlier, I said 20,000 youths have already been uh, uh, trained. Support for trained youths, business financing, mentorship, incubation, a whole lot of things will happen under this Solution Innovation District. And Soludo has moved the step in partnering with tech giants and international organizations one of them is uh, Microsoft. They have partnered with uh, Microsoft. They have MOU to train 20,000 Anambra youth on digital skills. And this brings world-class ex expertise to the state's digital skills training efforts. They're also partnering with the United Nations Development uh, Program. Uh, they are going to set up in Anambra State what I call a, ma a marker space in Oka. The initiative is to drive innovation and equip young people with skills. During the last uh, Anambra State Investment Forum, we saw the representative of the UNDP come to sign this agreement. And they engage with also some other US tech companies and foreign tech companies. But as I was researching this project, I came across something very interesting because somebody was saying Anambra doesn't actually need to partner with the likes of Microsoft or these big foreign tech giants because they're in Nigeria for profit. And once the profit is not coming, they zoom out, they close their office. It happened recently. I think Microsoft closed some of his activities in Nigeria. So, but the person is suggesting that it's better to partner with local tech companies in Lagos. We have so many of them already, tech startups and those who are doing very well. And because they are indigenous, they are never going to quit Nigeria, no matter the situation. I don't want to name uh, these companies. They are scattered all over the places. Some in fintech, some in technology and hardware manufacturers also, including some even people from the Southeast who own this kind of uh, businesses. So it might be better to partner with them and not just after these big tech giants that are outside of Nigeria. Once they are not doing getting money for their investment, they just zoom off and you're left in the code. Or at best have a combination joining with local partners and international partners. According to Soludo, he wants Anambra State to be Nigeria's tech hub capital. But there is a huge challenge here because Lagos has been the, the leader in this area and uh, many companies are already well established here. Some are operating with hundreds of millions of dollars. So how is Anambra State going to overtake this? I think the only difference between Lagos State and Anambra State is that most of the companies in, in Lagos State or the tech Companies in Lagos State are private initiatives, individual companies and the rest of them. But this is the first time a government in Nigeria, any state for that matter, is undertaking this kind of project. So this 
comes as planned with a program, with a focus, probably in that sense, Anambra can make headway while Lagos is everyone on his own individual effort, which we become a government project um, with a, a, a template that they have to follow. In that way, and if he stays consistent after Surudomos have left power, because it's not something that will happen in one day, then probably someday Anambra can boast or come close to Lagos or even overtake Lagos. And there's also a lot of youth talent pool in Anambra State that are willing to do things. You will know the people of Anambra or the Southeasterners on the whole, they are very skillful. They are easy to discover things, invent things, manufacture things, improvise. So that talent pool is highly available. And with educational institutions in Anambra State, UNIZIC, Odmego Juku University, the Polytechnics, and the rest of them, there is no shortage of talent. One other thing I've discovered is, according to Saludo, that this Solution Innovation District has been inducted into the global uh, forum or group of tech parks, they call them, technology parks. is a, a trend in the last probably 30, 20 years. If you talk about innovation in the United States, you have to talk about the Silicon Valley. And eventually, a country like India took the information technology axis also and produced a lot of tech talents. And what did India do? They built what they call science and technology parks. Uh, while you talk of Silicon Valley in the United States, in India, you talk about Chennai, a district in India, very popular with technology. That's where most of the tech companies are situated. That's where most of the tech technology parks are constructed and built and many people, young people, are immersed in it. And from there, they produce wonderful things. And today, you cannot talk of IT without mentioning India among the top three, as the case may be. And products of these uh, technology parts, most of them are managing global companies. And even when they are not managing, they have very high positions in these organizations. So it is not out of place for Solido to think in that direction. It's actually going in the right direction and it's not impossible to achieve because you need certain things. And once those things are in place, then you can, the, the, the sky will be the limit. What are those things that are needed? Internet connectivity, Anambra State must go digital. The facilities will be here for Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, high-speed internet, and uh, thanks heavens, I see that Saludo government is already laying some uh, cables on ground, fiber cables, according to them, they plan to deploy 2,000 kilometers of fiber cables. I've seen it myself in some places where they have dug the ground and have laid this cable. So it is very important to have high-speed internet for these young people when they graduate or even when they are still training, they could use it to uh, connect to the world. Of course, we need an internet exchange and the rest of them. So this is a very exciting project. And as I say on this channel, we are apolitical. When we see something good, we praise it. If uh, we see the one that's not good, we also talk about it. When security is not working in Anambra State, we keep hammering and we are still hammering that it's not okay. But this is, to me, a very good move by the Saludo government. And I bet you many people are, uh, we are saying, where is the Dubai? If this tech district, the Solution Innovation District is built up, that is the beginning of Dubai, because as you can see in the design, there's nothing different 
from what you find in any advanced country. So this is the report I wanted to let you see what is going on. We will come back again as the iconic building um, gets to finishing stages and uh, many other things develop in this area. We will report back to you. Please like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel, and we'll keep you updated with what is happening in the Southeast and Nigeria as a whole. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.